personally, mm-hmm. I know as a pastor, one of the greatest things that I can come to a full realization of is to trust that God's working in my church. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how many people showed up on Sunday. I don't care how bad off the building is. I don't care. I don't care. I believe God's working. And if we can get a sense of him working and what he's doing around us uh, and understand by through prayer and participation, God's going to work. He's going to work in his time. He's going to take care of you. And he's going to provide for all the needs. But take it off your shoulders mm. and enter into what God's doing. Be patient. Open up space for what he's doing. And I I've learned this in my ministry over and over again. I just can't believe how if I could just make space for God to work, he'll work. But if I got all this pressure on myself, I got to make it happen. I get exhausted. And and I want to kind of uh, sculpt a vision, an imagination for how to live Christianity, not as a set of programs at your local church, but as a way of life that invigorates you, that flourishes you, that fills your life where you meet and gather in your home, not because it's another program, but because you look forward so much to getting together. I'm looking over at my my left at this table, and I look forward to every Sunday evening being with a group of about, oh, 15 people. We just gather around, share a meal, tend to what God's doing in our lives and around this space, and opening it up for prayer and inviting God in to work, not only in our own lives, but in our neighborhoods. You know, uh, the early church, I say this in one of, the pra- one of the seven practices is being with the least of these, being with the hurt and the poor, just being with, not turning them into a project, not turning them into a program. No, they are. They, we become one of them and they become one of us. A new space is open. And, you know, uh, I write there about the early church. They believed that they encountered the risen Christ when they were with the least of these. Remember Matthew 25, when you do this, when you give a cup of water to the thirsty, when you go to the person in prison, that was me. I was there. I am present. And so the early church actually believed that that you encountered the risen Christ by being with the hurting. 